Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at weather for, you, for the United States for today's second video. So we're doing a six weeks look ahead with the ECM WF extended model for America. Uh, new feature, we started this uh, last Wednesday and we're just seeing how it goes, how much interest it generates. So uh, so yeah, I'll get, get off at you in a moment. Just say about the first video we say was our uh, 6 a.m. upload. It's going to be live streaming at 6 p.m. Uh, this evening will live stream a 10 to 14 day update uh, for the UK and for Europe as well. So uh, that will be coming up live at 6 p.m. And then straight after that, we're going to have our second sneaky piggy for Christmas 2022. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Right, okay, let's start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly for America. Then just so that everybody knows what we're looking at, this is the west coast of the United States just here. This is the eastern seaboard of the United States there. Uh, Gulf of Mexico, through there, Caribbean, for example, through there. Uh, of course, that's going to be the Atlantic Ocean. That will be the Pacific Ocean over there. Okay, so pink is, ex is extrapolating to high pressure and blue, or greeny blue, to uh, to um, low pressure. So uh, we can see it in the week ahead. These, these are breakdown week pairs. So the first week pair will be the 10th to 17th of October. We can see that for this week, uh, we've got low pressure across northern and uh, much of eastern America. Top of low through there. There is a ridge in the uh, far southeastern corner. Um, and out towards the uh, southern border of Mexico as well. Some lower pressure uh, towards California coming in up the Pacific, and then a ridge up towards the uh, Pacific northwestern corner of America. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly, which is again showing the trough of low pressure here across the north and the eastern portion of America. There is an upper level ridge that's out into the uh, west, into the Pacific Ocean, and some lower pressure around there. Right, so the temperature anomaly for this week looks quite cold across these northern and eastern parts of America, below average temperatures from like the Great Lakes into the eastern coast and then down into the southeastern corner as well. A little bit on the cool side through the desert states of like Arizona and whatnot, but otherwise many sort of western, central western states actually looking warmer, warmer than average, particularly so in the far west, um, you know, up that west coast, looking very warm, uh, even hot through there with the temperature anomalies, uh, perhaps around um, uh, 6 to 10 degrees above average, so, so really significantly above average temperatures through there. Oops, what have we done there? So let's flip that over to North America. That's happy. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so most parts of the state are looking dry, but it's a bit wet and average down here towards Florida. By the looks of it in week air, that might be some sort of tropical development later on in the week or something. It does seem to extend out towards the... Uh, towards the Gulf and also into the Atlantic as well. A little bit on the wetter side through there as well, towards the southern border. Otherwise, lots of dry weather, really. So very dry uh, around the west coast. Many parts of central western America looking pretty dry too. The east looks a little bit, uh, looks significantly dry on average. But it's a little bit wetter in the northeast up here. So from the Great Lakes up to the far northeastern corner. A little bit wetter through there. And as it's quite cold, maybe some of that could be uh, snow, particularly over higher ground possibly. Uh, generally quite a dry sea most through most parts of America in the weekend. Week 2 will be the 17th to the 24th of October. Bit of change this week uh, with the mean cell pressure anomaly. Looks like we're lowering the pressure quite a bit across uh, most parts of the states in week 2. The 500 millibar Height anomaly shows below average heights, low pressure across much of the south and also into the east of the northeast as well. The upper level ridge looks like it's pushing up more up towards uh, Canada, but it's still there into the far northwest of America to some degree. Temperature anomalies uh, in week two still showing like an east west split, so or an east west uh, or a northwest southeast split anyway. So uh, warmer than average in this northwestern. Corner again, like up west coast, particularly uh, those states like um, 
Oregon and uh, and, and Washington State. So those areas have been significantly above average. It's cooler through the southern states, through the desert states like Arizona again. Uh, and then particularly so through these eastern uh, states once more. So uh, around the Great Lakes towards the eastern seaboard, there we get below average temperatures quite widely uh, across the eastern side of America in week two. Precipitation-wise, it's turning much wetter across the southern states, all the way from the Pacific right over towards the Gulf. Uh, above average rainfall coming through there, including the desert states again, like Arizona, Texas. Um, you know, could be really quite quite a wet week. Um, uh, further north, it's significantly, it's significantly drier again from the northwestern coast of America towards the Great Lakes. Many of these northern states drier than average. On the eastern side, uh, that's hinting still being a little bit on the drier side, but any closer to average or has no signal uh, through there. So perhaps a little bit more unsettled in most eastern states, albeit with quite cold temperatures. Week 3 is going to be the 24th to the 31st of October with some high pressure in the southwestern corner and low pressure through the southern and southeastern states. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly, shall we? So that shows quite a significant change for the northwest America with some below average heights then setting up uh, off the Pacific into the northwestern uh, region. High pressure building up towards the northeast of America and uh, into uh, into eastern parts of Canada. The temperature anomaly for week three looks like that. Being a little bit warmer across most areas. It's cooler here, cooler than average here in the uh, southwestern corner. Otherwise, though, temperatures are picking up through the southern states and also potentially in the east and the northeast. So towards late October, we might see the temperatures starting to get milder through those uh, eastern parts of America. And as far as rainfall is concerned, it's very unsettled in the west and the southwest with above average rainfall through there, slightly above average rainfall through here as well. Otherwise, again, relatively weak signals. Week 4 will be the 31st of October to the 7th of November. Uh, and this week, again, we'll have some higher pressure towards the southwest, some lower pressure across these southern states. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks very mysterious, doesn't it? Let's put in a couple of question marks there. And we'll move over to the temperature anomaly for week four, which again is looking quite mysterious, average or no signal. A bit on the warm side in the far west, a bit on the warm side in the far east. Uh, otherwise, I think we're adding a question mark. Why not? And the precipitation anomaly looks like that. <laughs> that looks quite mysterious too. Remember, the further out we're going, the more the more the model will struggle to get the signal. And we are four weeks away now. So by week four, very often, um, the signal does weaken. However, we can go further than this. We can go to week five, two for seven to the 14th of November. And then we get some lower pressure maybe in the eastern and southeastern portion of uh, America. The 500 millibar height anomaly shows a trough of low pressure potentially getting going across these northern states. High pressure out here. Could that uh, bring some cold weather back into the north and the east of America? Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. Very weak signals again. Just a little bit cold around the Great Lakes though, through here, um, but otherwise quite a weak signal. Warm up western side. Uh, and then the uh, precipitation anomaly once more. Um, it's very weak. Perhaps indicates that it being a little bit on the drier side of the southern states and maybe a little bit on the wet side in the northern states. And then finally week 6 will be before typically first of October and we get some low pressure coming in from the west into those central states otherwise uh, again not much of a signal 500 millibar height anomaly I think we're adding a question mark there uh, the uh, temperature anomaly for week 6 Getting warmer in the west and the southwest, so this western, southern, southwestern part of America is warmer. So also it could be a little bit on the cool side around the Great Lakes, but very weak signal. And then finally, precipitation looks like that. And uh, again, perhaps since the north-south split, drier in the south, and maybe a little bit wetter in the north, but the signal is weak.
Okay, so that's your uh, six weeks lookout for the United States. Thank you so much to ECMWF.INT for supplying us with the charts. If you have, if you have enjoyed this extended lookout for America, then please can you like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you thought about it. We'll uh, be back, or I'll be back later on, live uh, with the 10 to 14 day out for the UK. Uh, that'll be at 6pm, and then straight after that, we're going to have the second sneak peek for Christmas 2022. A little bit of fun and a little bit of a laugh, and that will be coming up for you. Um, about 7pm, straight after the live stream. For uh, this one, though, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.